Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is episode 4 of my Building New Crest series. If you guys are not up to speed on this series, then I am building a whole New Crest neighborhood using only the base game. And so if you are interested in seeing this, then definitely subscribe to my channel and it also would probably help to ring the notification bell so you, you don't ever miss an episode, you know? I cannot stand when I forget to hit that notification bell and I miss the every single episode of my favorite YouTubers. So definitely don't let that be you. I'm trying to help you out here. <laughs> um, but anyways, I also want to take a second to thank every single one of my awesome subscribers. You guys are just something else. We are above 200 now the last time i checked it was like 203 and this is like friday april 12th the same day that this episode is actually going to be coming out later this day i'm a little bit late doing the voiceover but um i definitely didn't want to miss a day and so i'm doing the video now better late than never right and so um yeah just thank you to you guys i don't even have the words to say you know like I'm speechless I can't believe I have 200 of you guys that actually enjoy my work enough to subscribe I mean that really means a lot and I really feel like when you're a small channel nobody knows you and it's really hard to gain the first few hundred subscribers because you know a lot of the time people will see like oh they have you know a hundred subscribers they're probably not that good and so they'll just pass on by but if they see someone has you know five thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand they're more up to subscribe and I know I'm guilty of that as well and that's just because you know you're going to be getting um, you're actually going to be subscribing to someone that's going to be giving you good quality content and stuff. And so I really just thank you guys to my first 200, 203 subscribers that actually gave me a chance without knowing anything about me. Little old me, you know, I could have been like super duper boring. You never know. I could have sucked at building. You don't know. I mean... Just thank you guys. Um, as you can see, I don't know what to say, so I'm rambling. <laughs> um, but anyways, just thank you guys. I just appreciate it so much. Hopefully, sooner than later, we will meet our 500 subscriber goal. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet, but I'll do something with my 500 subscriber goal because that's just a huge milestone. At least for me, the, that just seems huge. And um, yeah, looking forward to it, guys. And if you're not a subscriber yet, then what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? No, I'm just joking. Um, just, you know, if you want to subscribe, then subscribe. Uh, if you don't, then I guess it is what it is. Why are you watching this then? But um, anyways, let's get into the build a little bit. Um, as you can see, this is a two-car garage house, and the garage is actually on the side of the house. And this is something that I have seen in real life. And I have wanted to duplicate in The Sims so bad for so long. But I really had no idea how to get it to look good. I think I've tried doing this several times and it just never looked right. And it actually looked right with this house. I was actually pretty pleased about that. Um, by the way, guys, this is literally the second time I'm doing this voiceover, okay? I'm, I'm a little bit sad about that because... Um, I was about halfway done with the voiceover, so a good, like, 20 or 30 minutes in, you know? And then, like, I just stopped it for whatever reason. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I have to, like, think about what I have to say, you know? Um, and so, and then I'll, like, listen back to what I had previously said, and luckily I did that, and I didn't finish the whole thing because my mic had, like, messed up somehow, and it sounded horrible, and I was like, oh my gosh, the... The whole thing is just lost and ruined. Oh, no, I got to do it over again. And so here I am doing it again. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, sometimes you have to work harder than you're used to. Uh, but anyways, uh, as you can see, we pretty much have the whole 
exterior built. Um, it really doesn't change much from what you see now. The only thing that does change eventually is the left side of the house. Um, it's looking a little bit short compared to the right side of the house. The right side is so like big with like those three big windows there and uh, with like the panels and stuff. So that's like a huge part of the house. And so the left side was looking really dinky compared to that. And so I ended up moving it all over and made it like two slots bigger. And you guys would be surprised at how much bigger it looks just by going two slots over, you know? And so, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. I would probably go as far as to say that this is my favorite base game house I've ever built because it not only has um, a lake in here okay so by lake i probably mean pond <laughs> um you guys see it back there it's not huge but it's not like you know it looks like a lake you know and lake house sounds cute than pond house and so i said lake house um but i think it's technically supposed to be a pond because it's just like in their backyard it's not like huge like a lake usually is and um your sims can fish there though and i also build a gazebo on there and then something else that i build is i do a tree house a fully functional tree house using only the base game and that was really really fun i definitely am looking forward to doing that more often and um, you can actually play on the inside of the tree house unlike the one you get in growing together for some reason they don't want you to actually see inside the tree house i thought that was so stupid you know, like, why can't we see the child playing on the inside of the treehouse? And then when you have the child actually play on the treehouse, they just stand there. When I seen that, I was like, are you serious? Are you really serious? Like, I, I love the Sims team, but they do cut corners. They really do. How hard would it have been for them to actually make their treehouse more functional and for them to, the children to actually play on it like, you know with a group of other child sims just like the playground equipment you know how they go up on there and they have different animations playing on it whether it's like the modern one or the pirate one i think it's different animations if i'm not mistaken and um this the little child sims will actually go and run around it and i think you can have the adult sims pretend to be like a monster while playing and so like that's so fun like why wouldn't they do the same thing for the tree house you know so i thought it was kind of like i don't know maybe it was a last minute decision and they could build it super quick and they could make it as an object super quick but they couldn't make the animation super quick you know and so it was a little disappointing but you know all of that said just because i wanted to mention that my tree house was functional um, that's how I do guys. I go off of a subject and just ramble on about it, you know, but, um, besides the tree house, the functional tree house, I might add, um, I also built a little greenhouse. And so there's like so many things for this family to do. Um, this house, it's expensive. It's like, I think it ended up being 300,000 simoleons in the end, which is like, so expensive compared to the houses I usually do. I feel like the super cluttered houses I do, it's like barely hitting the 250K, you know? So 300K, that's like expensive. Um, that's like in real life, you will not get this house for $300,000 at all. With the market that we're in right now, this would be like a million dollar house. I'm not even joking and a three hundred thousand dollar house trust me i've been looking at the market at least here in florida anyways i don't know how it is in y'all states y'all might be living in a um state that isn't very expensive but here in florida you don't make much money for your work and the how the cost of living is ridiculous and then there's a lot of people moving here so that doesn't help either and um so a three hundred thousand dollar house is going to get you a fixer upper where you're going to need to be doing work to it you know it's not like moving ready it could be but it's just like a fixer upper you guys know what i mean it's just ridiculous the housing market like it is right now the whole inflation 
is ridiculous right now okay uh, don't even get me started um, but anyways I'm sure you guys are all feeling it as well um, I'm, I'm sure you guys could totally relate so um, yeah it sucks don't it I can't wait till inflation is not here anymore um, can it like go down already <laughs> you know but um, yeah we pretty much have the kitchen put together this kitchen is different than kitchens I've done in the past um, I do breakfast nooks sometimes, but not very often. And this breakfast nook, I think, turned out super duper cute. Um, those chairs are not like the most ideal, I know, but it it's what looked the best in that corner. For some reason, you know, those stools that I pulled out came from the update. And I think Hey Harry made those chairs and they're awesome and um they also have matching chairs other than the stools and they're very modern and i actually use them in the dining room but for some reason they didn't look that good in the breakfast nook and so i pulled out these like i don't know hand me down looking chairs they look rough honestly they do so they kind of probably don't match but they they matched enough i think they looked the best for the chairs that i had and I also pulled out a bunch of clutter pieces to just place around the kitchen. And I also put like a little book there. I figured that was like their recipe book. Is it actually a recipe book? Probably not. But that's what I imagine it to be. And then I pulled out some plants. I pulled out, you know, some like the seasoning tray and the little coffee pot with a pound cake and some cookies and a little thing that you put the coffee mugs on and I also pulled out the tea brewer I think that's a tea brewer right and then I put fruit next to it I kind of thought they could use the fruit to like infuse their tea maybe I don't know if that's something you can do in real life but I thought it was a fun idea and then like of course a microwave and I put some wine on top of the microwave this family also ends up having a bar in the dining room and so I figured this family very much loves uh, alcohol <laughs> um, they're not alcoholics I'm not trying to say that they're just uh, they're they're winos you know they know how to have fun and they love their wine they love their beer they love their alcohol and what can I say um, you guys can't say you feel you don't feel the same you know you can't say that <laughs> um, I'm just joking but anyways there is a bar in here and so I, I thought it made sense to put some wine on top of the microwave for some reason I didn't know where else to put it so it's on the microwave <laughs> and um, yeah I just thought it was a cute little touch and I also um, in the dining room I'll talk a little bit more once we get to the dining room but I think the dining room turned out so pretty and yeah um, now I'm just redoing like the little lake that's in the backyard pond slash lake um, it's big enough that it could be a lake I don't know guys I think it's a pond <laughs> um, but anyways it turned out really cute I was able to build a gazebo to be on top of it and that is so fun um, I have been wanting to do that for quite a while as well is to build a gazebo over a lake and I actually kinda am thinking about doing a wedding venue that is on like a huge lake and it has a gazebo like right on the lake where the you know the couple gets married at i thought that's such a cute idea and it's something that i really want to do at some point i don't know when um it might be forever from now you never know so don't wait on that it's just an idea that i have um back when i was looking at wedding venues me and my fiance is engaged we are planning on getting married we just don't have any active plans as of right now you know um, but I was kind of like looking at wedding venues and stuff and talk about inflation. That's something else that's pretty pricey. But anyways, um, I seen one that it was like a huge, like a, a manor, like a estate, you know, a mansion on a lake. And there was a gazebo right there in the garden with the lake in the background. And it was absolutely gorgeous. And I can definitely see myself getting married there. I've thought about the beach. I've thought about several different things. Um, but 
anyways just ever since i seen that i've been wanting to build it in the sims i just don't know exactly how to go about it yet it's definitely going to take some planning but it's it's going to be fun and beautiful and here's the dining room that i was talking about guys is this not cute i added like some of those countertops you know not counters but the cabinets the overhead cabinets where you can adjust the size and stuff i put those instead of the hutches and the corner in front of the back door and then they don't have bar bags in the sims and so i kind of made my own bar bag and i put two of those big china cabinet things on both sides and a counter in the middle with like a, ca a, ca a top cabinet on the top and a mirror behind it on the wall and i put I, a sink I can't remember if I said I put a sink or not but it turned out so cute and realistic it just it brought back memories of when I lived with my friend at her mom's apartment for like a little bit it wasn't very long at all um, it was an extended stay let's put it that way and their little apartment was so cute but they had like a little area that had like a bar it was almost like a wet bar but it was against a wall and there was a mirror just like I built basically and that wasn't what I was thinking of as I was building it but it brought back a memory and so that's a lot of fun it's always fun when you have memories brought back you know it just makes you think of the good old days like you know <laughs> like I'm an old lady sitting on the front porch reminiscent of the good old days but no really it is fun thinking about old memories you know do you guys enjoy thinking about memories. I know some people uh, don't enjoy thinking of memories because it makes them sad for some reason, but it makes me happy, you know? Memories are exactly that, they're memories. It's something you've been through in your life. So what is there to be sad about? But we are now in the living room and I'm getting it put together pretty quickly in the video anyways, but I do remember when I was building this, I had absolutely no idea what to do. Um, it felt like it took forever. It was kind of boring to do for some reason. I don't love the living room, but I don't hate it at the same time. I mean, it's pretty. It's, you know, I only have the base game. So the couches in the base game are so lacking. They need to do a base game update with couches. They definitely do because the only normal couches are like, I mean, this one's kind of modern. It's half normal. I like that there's pillows on it. And then the other normal looking couch is like locked behind a cheat that you have to use a cheat for or you just play the game to unlock it and it's there's only like three swatches and the swatches are like super duper green a tan and then I can't remember the other color but there's like three colors and colors that are hard to match and then there's not like a love seat to go with it or a little chair to go with it so and then there's one other normal looking couch that I can think of anyways and it's like super duper blocky looking and it looks like it's super hard. It's one of the cheap chairs. And I also made two bathrooms downstairs other than, um, there's technically three bathrooms downstairs, but um, one's in the master bedroom and the other two are just like where most of the children of the house are gonna be going to use the bathroom. And there's a big huge garden tub in one and the other bathroom has a shower so it's the best of both worlds you know and this room right here i almost put another little lounging area but i actually did something i don't do very often and i pulled out this piano and i thought it fit perfectly right there so who am i to just mess that up and delete it you know so i left it there and i figured the family that lived in this house the dad is a writer a very successful writer and he has wrote several books and he's also a huge classical music fan and he loves practicing the piano he might not be very good at it but he loves practicing the piano and the mom of the house i thought loved painting and so in the bedroom right here i include a little area where there's like an easel and some paintings and yeah it turned out you know different than other bedrooms I've done in the past I I hate doing the same thing over and over and over again so I tried to challenge myself into different bedrooms they may turn out they may not turn out this one the color scheme matches but it's not my favorite you guys might love it um but it's not my favorite 
uh, I can't do just a blue or a green bathroom or bedroom, I mean, every single time, you know? There is blue accents in this room, but it's mainly gray and blue, you know? It definitely matches really well together. And it almost has like a modern vibe to it, but like a suburban modern, you know? And honestly, the outside of the house looks kind of suburban modern-ish. It's the circular window. That's the only thing that makes it look a little modern, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. But, um, and yeah, so I put some of the little paintings there and it just looks like her little corner that she likes to go into paint and stuff. And over here, nothing too special, just some perfumes and a little lotion like set and stuff. And this bathroom is absolutely huge. I didn't know how to design this bathroom, but I ended up like breaking it off halfway and adding an archway just like that. And then over here is like the little bathtub and shower portion of the bathroom and the other side if i had a washer and dryer i probably would have put it in either this bathroom or one of the other bathrooms but the base game doesn't have that that's in laundry day and um so i just had to be creative with how i made these bathrooms and i do have to say it it's more creative than bathrooms i've done in the past i usually just do the whole toilet sink shower and call it a day you know and um so that one was pretty interesting there was like two different rooms and stuff and so now we are upstairs and this is the teen daughter's room so i can't remember like i said i had to do my voice over over again so i can't remember if i named all of the different type of sims that can be in this house so it is furnished. You can change this. You know, there's seven bedrooms and I made them all seven bedrooms. You can change the bedrooms to like, you know, if you only want a few bedrooms, you can make a couple like offices or a game room or whatever. You can totally rearrange the inside of this house to how you want it to be. But um, I ended up doing two parents, a grandpa. I have a room for grandpa and it's special for grandpa I, it doesn't look like a grandma would live in there even though you could do a grandma but i was thinking grandpa and then um a teen girl a teen boy i thought there were twins a child girl or a boy you really can fit either one of the in the bedroom that i've done i kind of thought it was a girl but she was like a tomboy and she really was into like space and just different um like maybe like star wars kind of on the geeky side you know and so child boy or girl and then a toddler boy and an infant girl so about half and half in this house i'd say and this room is very very pink i thought the teen that lived in this room loved pink she loves to dance she loves sports and I know in the base game, they can't do cheerleading, but I thought maybe if you have the high school years pack, that teen would definitely love cheerleading. And just sports in general, she likes. And then this is the teen boys room and they both have a bathroom in their room. And so they're very lucky for that. <laughs> and I definitely, you know, decorated the bathrooms very unique. I definitely wanted to make it look like this is obviously for the teen girl and that's obviously for the teen boy, you know? And I thought this teen boy was really into programming and video games and watching movies, Star Wars, definitely on the geeky side, just like his younger sibling is. And very, very opposite than his twin sister. Let's just put it that way. And um, he might be kind of interested in writing just like his dad, but he also doesn't want to be in his dad's shadow. So when he's older, he might, you know, think about getting into the tech career career. And I was thinking when the teen girl gets older, she, I don't really know what career she's going to be interested in. Um, definitely something, maybe the sports the fitness or sports career, maybe um, a professional athlete or something. She's definitely very sporty. And if not that, then maybe the style influencer career. I think that's base game. 
if I'm not mistaken. And that other um, room right there, it looks like a huge bathroom, but it, it doesn't stay as a bathroom. That is actually the grandpa's room. And so he has his own little like room, obviously, and then a bathroom in the room as well. And I think it turned out really good. I almost made it into an additional bathroom, but the layout of that room was so like, weird. <laughs> I had no idea how I was going to do it, you know? So I had the idea of adding like an extension onto the back part of it, which I will do here shortly, right now. I do it right now. And um, so once I did that, I had an idea, well, you know what, I'll just make this into a separate bedroom for one of the grandparents. And I thought it was grandpa. And it's actually the dad's dad of this house. So it's the paternal grandfather. And I am having plans. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I am going to make the family for this house. I mean, I'm definitely gonna make a family for this house because this is part of my save file. But I think I'm gonna record myself at the same time and post it onto my YouTube. So stay tuned for that. And so I'm not gonna go too deep into the personality of each one of these Sims. I know I've kind of gotten kind of deep into it so far, but that's only because I had to explain my idea for the room, each of the rooms, you know? And so there's a lot that you guys don't know yet, but this is grandpa's room. And like I said, grandma could live here as well, but it definitely looks like a grandpa would live in this room. And I have not play tested this build yet. Well, I did a little bit. I play tested a little bit, but I did not play test that bathroom in grandpa's room, but I am about 99% sure that that is functional because I do little small four square bathrooms like that all the time. And if you place the shower and the sink and the toilet in a specific like area and, um, you know, just place it in a specific spot, you know, then it is functional. So I believe that's about 99 or 99% sure that that's functional. So if it's not, then I am very sorry. <laughs> Just delete the shower maybe. Um, and then I also thought Grandpa was really into woodworking. So I put a weird working table in there. I can't remember if, I know I put a bonsai tree there. And so that might still be there, but at some point I changed that from a bonsai tree to a woodworking table. So yeah, I thought he was very, very hand hands on he likes to make things with his hands you know and um the knife block downstairs grandpa made it yep he makes stuff for this house and i kind of figured grandpa probably made the tree house in the backyard as well and then here is the child's bedroom like i said this could be for a boy or a girl but i was kind of thinking it was a girl and she has a pet frog <laughs> And she's kind of on the geeky side, you know? She loves Star Wars, she loves just geeky movies, video games maybe, a lot like her older brother. And so they get along quite well. And here I am, I'm just pulling out from the gallery. It was some random person, I can't remember the name, so I'm sorry about that, but just type in children's drawings on the gallery if you're ever wanting to build with them and you'll find so many people that have you hooked up, okay? There's drawings galore there. As you can see, there's like hundreds of drawings on the ones that I downloaded, and I pulled out about three, and I just put, placed it above the drawing table so it looks like, you know, that's the drawings that the little kid made. And here is the infant's room. I figured, obviously, this would be a little girl infant, and this little nursery turned out so cute, I thought. Um, it's very, very pink, very purple. And I didn't really want to do a pink room since the teen girl's room was so pink. But I got to building this and I pulled out the unicorn rug and you know, just it, it came together and it's pink and purple. But there's enough purple to where it looks different, you know, different enough than the teens room looks and 
Then I placed some of these like shelves on the wall and they're like little pretty like sunset clouds I think is what they're supposed to be. And I thought it fit perfectly there in front of her little dollhouse and that dollhouse is so cute. I used to find it so hard to be able to build with dollhouses in The Sims because some of them are like really, really bulky. I mean, they're all big and bulky, don't get me wrong. But this one has a really flat back to it. So that this one's easier to build with than some of them are. Like that one that's shaped like a suburban house kind of sort of thing, it's the cheap one. That one is um, kind of a pain in the butt to get to fit in a spot and make it look good, you know? And, but I do use it, don't get me wrong, I use it especially in like my starter homes <laughs> and there's a child that lives there and um, that's like a cheap dollhouse that fills up a lot of space. So I use it for my starter houses. And that right there, really, really quick, I made the toddler's room and it's for a little boy, but I guess you could put a little girl in there as well. It's very dinosaur themed, very blue, very green. And yeah, not much to say about that. It turned out really cute though. And so now we are finally outside, guys. I think for the rest of the build, we are going to be outside working in the backyard. And right now I'm just doing the little gazebo over the pond like I was talking about. And it turned out so cute. And I did a little bit more with the landscaping, but for some reason, um, I didn't record it. Sometimes I'll stop recording to go do something and then come back and I forget to press record again. <laughs> um, and I do too much stuff to just want to totally delete it. And so I figured this video is long enough. You guys aren't going to care if you miss a little landscaping, okay? Um, it's not like a whole bunch of landscaping that you've missed. Obviously, it's just like some bushes and stuff. So don't worry. I still have plenty of landscaping to do. As you can tell, I have another... 15 or so minutes left of just talking to you guys so I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far and so here is the little tree house that I uh, built I had the idea of doing a tree house because this area was so blank and I didn't know what else to do and for some reason a tree house just popped in my mind and I thought it was a cute idea and so I've seen other, you know, Sims YouTubers build tree houses before, almost similar to this, but not exact. I do think mine looks different than other people that I have seen. And I think it looks so cute and I don't know, I just love it. And it is functional, by the way. I made sure that um, I would have been very, very depressed if it was not functional. <laughs> um, and technically, children, teens, adults can all go in there. And if you want it to be like the growing together tree house and you can set it just for children, um, you can't technically do that, but you can lock the front door for everyone in the household besides the child or the teens or whatever you wanted to do. And so it kind of represents the same thing, you know? It's it's kids only, teens only sort of thing, you know? And so now we are over in front of the lake and I'm just placing some landscaping around because there's a lot to fill up over here. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna be able to do it, but once I started placing these big, huge bushes and other landscaping things it turned out so cute i i love this yard i love this house i'm not even joking and i'm not being biased either i know that probably sounds biased like yeah you built the house so of course you're gonna love it but i mean just look at it so far and this is nothing compared to the final outcome and if you so you if you think it looks pretty right now just wait till the end it's like beautiful i love these white um hydrangeas those are what those are called i think and the actual bush i think is called maybe blue hydrangea and it shows a blue one but these white ones are beautiful and very white very bright and vibrant and um definitely match the house's vibes and i also love pulling out these like palm frond looking plants i can't remember what those are called but like basic plants i see those all the time here in florida and they're super pretty. And by the way, while I'm thinking of it, the flower boxes on the house right now are yellow. 
but I don't think I do it on camera. I think I do it when I was play testing and I was looking at the picture when you post it onto the gallery and stuff and the yellow just wasn't matching. I mean, there's like nothing else that's yellow in this build. And so I changed all of the yellow flower boxes to white instead. So hopefully that's not too much white for you guys, but trust me, it looked a lot better. And I also wait until the very, very end to do all the terrain paint, which is not something that I usually do. I usually, um, sorry, I got distracted because <laughs> Um, I thought I forgot to edit this part out, but no, I wanted you guys to see that I was pulling this off the gallery and um, those are spliced trees, so I did not do the splicing and stuff like that. I just pulled that off the gallery. That's something that is very useful, by the way, if you want spliced trees but you don't want to do the work. Yeah, there's plenty for you to download off the gallery. It's great. And so thank you to all of those on the gallery. You know, no specific names because I can't remember. <laughs> but thanks to... Uh, the people on the gallery that really look out for all of us and do the splice trees and post it on the gallery because I know that has got to be monotonous and they probably do it for their self <laughs> more than us but still you know and I'm sorry this pond is just so pretty and um yeah so I can't remember what I was talking about before the whole splice tree incident but oh the terrain paint yeah I usually do it as I go but something about this build, I didn't really know what I was placing where and what landscaping and when I added stuff, I kind of figured, you know, I'm gonna be adding even more. <laughs> and so I just, I thought it was smart to wait. And um, so l the terrain paint for some reason, it just brings the build to life when you use terrain paint and not just like the pavement like I'm doing right now, I mean like the actual, like the, the half grass, half soil, or just the soil, you know, that's the terrain paint I'm talking about. When you start using that, it just really comes to life. It really makes it look so much better. And these lights right here, <laughs> uh, for some reason it didn't click as I was building this, but they this greenhouse obviously has a glass roof and so they're kind of hanging on to nothing and that's i hate that and so i ended up deleting them and i just placed a bunch of like wall lights everywhere and it's definitely lit up probably thinking now what i could have done was added like a wall and placed the spandrel on there and then just looked like it was supposed to be there and that's what the light is hanging off of because I want to say greenhouses in real life typically have above head lights, don't they? So that the plants get really good lights or no? Is that the point of a greenhouse and so you don't have to have lights? I don't know. I don't have a greenhouse, guys. <laughs> and so I obviously have no idea. But um, yeah, I've. if you're interested in a really pretty greenhouse, I have one like that's not attached to an actual house. I have one on my gallery and it received Max's fave actually, uh, toot toot. No, I'm just joking. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but it's, it's it had a Max's fave and it's really, really cute. It's just not very functional because the way that I built it, um, it doesn't have actual walls. <laughs> and so it's really hard to explain. And it's not base game either. This one is base game. And, um, I probably should build one that's just base game. I've had some people on my gallery request that, but I just, I, I haven't built it with just base game. But um, it's on my gallery and it's cute. <laughs> so if you want to download one just for cuteness, there you go. Uh, like I was saying, it's not functional though. So don't blame me if, if you know, you download it and it's not like you thought it was going to be. The plants can't grow all year long like they can in a regular sheltered greenhouse. But um, when it's just for looks, we don't care about functionality, right? And so, yeah, um, this backyard is pretty much getting put together. I do, I deleted the splice trees for now because the bug occurred where when you try to move them and if you move them too many times or something like that, they, um, 
they disappear for some reason and turn into just little soils. I want to say that's on the latest laundry list, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll see. Hopefully that gets fixed soon because that's so aggravating, especially if like you're playing the game and you're growing them due to your gameplay. You know, you're not just cheating like I did to build and download them off the gallery. You actually work to develop that tree and then they just turn to dirt and then you have to wait for them to grow again. That is so aggravating. I will not wait for them to grow. I'm not, you know, that big of a cheater when I play my game in The Sims, but that I will cheat because that's just, that's not right. That's aggravating, you know? And so I'll cheat it to make it be a fully grown plant. If it was already there once before, and then it was the game's bug that caused it to go away. That's literally not your fault. So I I believe it's it's right to cheat at that point, you know, if something's out of your control. And so here I am just pulling out some more of the splice trees and I placed them kind of all throughout the backyard. I placed one also on the other side of the backyard where the pond is and just, you know, I I wanted to I wanted it to look like the whole place was just plants everywhere. So the mom, I thought, not only loves painting, but she loves to garden too. And so this whole place is because of mom. She planted everything here. <laughs> Even the plant, the fake plants, like those white hydrangeas, mom did that, okay? And um, the greenhouse, and I also placed like those planter boxes, I cut that part out, guys. I placed planter boxes throughout the backyard and I downloaded some fully grown flowers off of the gallery, just like I did with the splice trees. And I placed them in each of the planter boxes. And I also did like fruits and vegetables in the greenhouse so that all year long your sim can actually like cook with what they grow. And then everything on the outside besides the fruit trees are flowers. And so you can make some money off those flowers too. I'm pretty sure I got like a couple orchids, a couple roses. I got a death flower somewhere out there. I've got some tulips, I think. Um, and yeah, just different flowers, something. It just added something extra and filled up the space. And it's definitely practical you know you definitely could use it and here I am just doing the train paint and I actually almost neared the end of this before I remembered oh crap I didn't even like furnish the treehouse so I actually almost forgot to do that guys but I didn't and I'm so glad that you're able to watch me decorate the inside because I do think it turned out super duper cute and that could be a biased thing but you know it is what it is and so it's definitely like a child zone, you know? I guess like you could redecorate it for it to be like the teen hangout if you wanted to, but I figured there's like a child in the house already and then there's a toddler and infant that's eventually going to be a child. So this is very much a child's paradise right here. I don't, I don't know what else to say. A child's, you know, place, <laughs> I don't know. And so there's like, curtains and I did something kind of different than I normally do and some of the curtains I placed were half tied up and half not tied up. I thought that was something like a, a child would do and I also put like a little penguin TV in here and three different of these teddy bear couches and also I put the drawing table and I think a tree house, or not a tree house, but a doll house in here as well. And a little mental table. Definitely plenty of stuff for your Sims to do, your child Sims. And that little thing on the wall right there, I thought the Sam, the child Sam colored that on there themselves. Just a cute little detail there, you know. And then a doll house. And I thought it was cute to put the helicopter toy right there by the doll house. I don't know why it just sparked my, I just thought of that, you know. And I also put like a little coffee table in the front with a little radio and some books and a little like, um, not like a bookshelf, but you know, the pile of books that are, is functional. I put that there as well. And yeah, so this is pretty much it for the tree house. And out here, I almost put some more like chairs and stuff, but 
I decided against that, and I put a telescope out there instead. And I can't remember. I think kids can use telescopes, but I can't remember. If not, then the parents will have to go up there. And that was me testing out the view of the telescope, because I hate when it's um, not realistic and it's looking at the neighbor's house, you know? That would be so creepy. It reminds me of The Sims 2 when, um, like, Mortimer Goth or... Nina Caliente or Dina Caliente, I can't remember. It was one of those three Sims, if not all three, would come and slap your Sim in The Sims 2 if you played in Pleasant View. It was hilarious. And so, yeah, guys, we are actually nearing the end. So I am just placing just lights on the outside now, making sure it's nice and lit up for you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, definitely leave a like so I know to continue making more houses. And so, yeah. And... To support my channel to support little old me okay um just you know just like it um anyways i hope you guys have an amazing friday an amazing weekend and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'm tied up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So fight and fight and die For the things you know you Every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, 
know you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away